Um, I just, I, I hadn't planned on saying anything. It's just when I heard him speak about how he wanted to cease firing fires in Lebanon, just the hypocrisy on how every day we're still sending British bombs and British bullets that are being used in Lebanon and in Gaza right now. And the Prime Minister, he could stop that, he could stop that right now, but he doesn't. And he just, he says that he wants things to stop, but he won't lift a finger to actually stop them. You weren't planning on saying anything, you were just made to say why? No, no, I, I was a delegate, I'm, I'm a Labour Party member. Um, I hoped I'd be one for life, but I, I suspect not now. Um, but just w what's happened and just the complete failure of the Labour Party and Keir Starmer to address it, it's, it's just complete sickness. What more specifically do you want from them? Uh, complete suspension of arms sales to Israel, um, embargoes, <laughs> sanctions, whatever it takes to stop this genocide that is currently occurring, not just empty platitudes to uh, conference halls full of people who support you. Can I ask what, the, what your job is? Are you a student? Or? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a student. Are you happy with Keir Starmer as Labour leader? Absolutely not, no. Although it's, it's, it's not just him, it's, it's the party more general and the, the wider political establishment um, for not being supportive um, of taking the action that is required to stop this genocide and actually stop the war like they claim they want to do. Can you tell us what was going through your head as you were sat there and what sort of, what was the moment you decided to stand up and start talking? I was, I was just angry. Um, I mean, myself, I guess, for not saying anything at the time. Um, but again, like I say, just for him coming out to say that he wanted, he wants to ceasefire, but not taking any of the actions that he could, not lifting a finger and to do it. Um, um, and I was just angry. And in the end, I, I decided not to do it. Did you, what did you, I don't know if you heard what Keir Starmer said back at you. He said, you must have a pass for 2019, and they've changed the Labour Party. No, I, I joined um, in 2022 when he was leader. I was, I thought it would, he would be, he would be able to do what he said to, to be a more moderate force that could win, win the election and, and still deliver change. But he, he hasn't delivered change. We've got the same Tory corruption sleaze with all of this stuff about um, free clothes and free spectacles and free Taylor Swift concert tickets. Um, no, I'm not. I, I, I've never been a member of the Labour Party under four. Do you think other Labour members should be taking a harder line on Gaza and putting more pressure on you? Um, I think so, yeah. I mean, I, I understand that people aren't comfortable in, in doing what I did. Um, but I think that there needs to be more vocal, um, more vocal line from the party saying, or from the party members saying, no, we, we can't stand for this. If, if you really are for a ceasefire, you need to take the steps that are required to make that happen. Can I just ask, what did you actually say when you stood up? Because it was quite difficult to, to catch up. On yes, um, I mean, I'm not really sure uh, myself, to be honest. Um, just about um, saying that while he was talking about providing opportunities for children, children in Gaza and children in Lebanon are having British bombs and bullets rain down on them um, because he went left to think to stop them. Um, I, I was a bit, I was, I was kind of expecting there to be a, a few, at least one other person, given that there was Hector's good Richard Reeves speech. Um, I think I probably would have gone up anyway, even if there had been other hecklers, just because I felt that I, I, I couldn't sit there and say nothing. What, what was your treatment like from security? Um, it, it was very good, so yeah, they were, I mean, they had to get me out of there quite quickly, but um, they were, they were very upset. Well, sharing my views, I'd say quite a lot. I don't know, maybe maybe a tenth. Um, I, I haven't done any polling or anything like that. Yeah. But you feel like there is um, quite widespread anger. I feel so. Yeah, at least at least among a proportion of the membership. Was it was it worth sacrificing your membership? <laughs> maybe not. Um, but I, I I just sat there and I thought I, I can't just sit through this and let him say that if he wants a ceasefire, well. And he doesn't because he's not he's not doing anything in order that would take to stop it. He could he could get a ceasefire if he wanted. If he talked to the Americans and said, look, we need to do this. We're, we're sanctioning Israel and either you're with us or you're not. He, he just won't because he, he doesn't want a ceasefire. He wants to say that he wants a ceasefire. He doesn't care if there's a genocide going on. If thousands of Palestinians are dead. He just cares about what's his problem. Like, is, is he going to be able to win a majority of the next election? Just to be really clear, so you've had your... Uh, conference pass revoked yes. and your membership permanently revoked? Uh, well, I haven't found out yet, but I, I would suspect as much, yes. And can you just tell us your, your name? Are you part of any wider kind of organisation no, of no, political campaigning? No, not at all. Um, I'm, I'm just on my own on this. Um, yeah. Can you tell us your name and age? 
Uh, Daniel Riley, uh, 18. And where are you from? Uh, Jersey, Channel Islands. Is Did this you done with the Labour Party forever? <laughs> well, um, I suspect for now at least, uh, not by my choice, but I mean, I'm, I'm hopeful that, that there can be change and someone someone will come up and say, no, we need to stop. Is there any other party you see yourself finding home in? I, I don't know, to be honest. I, I probably just step back from politics for now um, because I, either all the and all the parties that have a reasonable prospect of winning are still all the same in Gaza. Um, so I, I don't see there being any, any party that can realistically win. Great. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you very much.